Thank you for joining us for another edition of Kevin Preston's Toy Box. Today we're going to talk about the Kenner Easy Show Movie Projector. These little movie projectors came out in the 1965-66 time frame. Previous to these units, Kenner had made a number of different configurations of a slide projector that projected slides of various shows and movies and cartoons of the time period as well. They progressed to these units which were actually little motion picture projectors. The heart of the system are these little continuous loop film reels containing 8 millimeter film that winds its way uh, as a continuous loop through the projector and then back onto the take-up spool to be then put back into the projector as it winds through. Each film cartridge contained two short cartoons or featurettes common to the shows at the time. There were a number of sets with different sets of cartoons. This one has some Hanna-Barbera features, Adam Ant and Flintstones, Yogi Bear. And there are other ones that had, for example, the Munsters and had those as a, as a theme on the front. Uh, and there were a number, some of them are highly collectible, especially if they're sealed or never used, or, for example, have the Munsters on the front panel. Uh, each set came with three reels with two short films on each reel. Here's a little bit about how the endless reel works. It's very basic. The film comes in on one side and then gets pulled upwards to go out on the spool and then winds back in the spool. It doesn't work all that well because uh, one tiny sprocket within the projector really has to pull and push the film off and on this reel and if it binds at all or there's any other problem the film can bend or crease and that creates other problems and it can become unthreaded and scratched very easily. It, it worked well probably when it was very new but I remember having this same set when I was a kid and it was always problematic. So it's a cute design but Practicality is another issue. Uh, here we see uh, the actual crank, the on-off switch that activates the light. And uh, we have a focus lens, one-piece plastic lens that you focus. It's all battery-powered, 3D cells, so it's not a particularly bright image. You should only really have to go a couple feet from the wall uh, to really be able to see anything. There you see the 3D cells that I have put in the they snap in and as you look this front area is where the film uh, loop goes through uh, there are some sprockets and then the area where the actual cartridge plugs into the projector here I'm showing you where the sprocket engages with the turn handle and fortunately uh, that sprocket has to both pull and push the film off and on that single sprocket and it did create some problems uh, even when it was uh, new because I had one of these when I was a kid uh, it was very easy for the film to come off track and come out of this area right here at the top um, where it progresses through the little film gate and can have problems uh, staying engaged. These little pegs that have an angle cut into them help force the film against the sprocket and hold it there so it can drive the film properly. As you can see, I'm an adult and uh, I've been doing this on a number of practice runs and for even for myself who's used to working with films of all types and all types of projectors, it takes a moment for me to get this uh, spooled right. So to think that children could uh, 
could do this. I, I know they sold a lot of these, but I'm sure a lot of the small children like myself when I had one of these were endlessly frustrated in trying to manipulate this film to get it in the film path properly. One of the pieces of brilliant engineering on this thing is the fact that this projector does not have a shutter. Most projectors and cameras, when you're dealing with motion pictures, have a shutter that covers when the film advances to the next frame and then exposes the frame of film that you want to see and then the shutter comes around, closes, the film advances and then it exposes it again. This has tiny little pegs that the film sits on and then the mechanism simply snaps the film frame to the next frame and it does it fast enough in kind of a snapping motion that you really uh, it acts as its own shutter so there's not really a complex shutter it's very simple and obviously this is a toy and they didn't have to incorporate a shutter mechanism in here but you can kind of see as I rotate this film by hand you can kind of see it um, coming off the spool and then you'll see it snapping in front of the light bulb uh, in the little gate there snapping from frame to frame when closed up the projector is ready to crank and roll the film through the gate there is also another version of the projector the red version this is actually the one that I had when I was a child and uh, internally it's very very similar they changed the uh, gate a little bit and instead of the little springs that held the film they have these little spring loaded pegs that grip the film I don't know if that improved the jamming it certainly didn't help me when I was a kid because this is the version that I had but pretty much the same and now for the first time possibly ever anywhere in the universe we are digitally recording a few select titles of Kenner's Easy Show projected films. Because these are only 8mm films, uh, they are very scratchy and old. Uh, you may be surprised at the poor film quality, but here it is. Thank you for watching.